everyone, I'm Coach Brandon, one of the soccer coaches at Chelsea Pierce Fieldhouse. And today we're gonna go over three quick steps on how to dribble a soccer ball. Step one to master dribbling is to use the proper technique. You can use three parts of the feet when dribbling. That's the inside, the outside, and the sole, which is the bottom of the foot. When you're using the inside, it is built for control. It is built for changing directions. So we can use the inside, change direction. Keep it in between our feet, change direction. We also call this foundation touches. When we want to use the outside of the foot, that is to open up our stride and push the ball ahead of us. The proper technique is to turn the toe in and point the toe down. So you can get the outside pinky toe of the foot. And last is our sole. That's the bottom of the foot. When we're using our sole, we want to keep the ball underneath us. We can do toe taps. or roll. Toe taps or roll. Step two is to develop awareness. When dribbling, you must understand what's around you and see the whole field. There are times where you have to look down at the ball to understand that you're in control, but there are also times where you need to scan, pick your head up, and look all and see what all what's around you. So as you're dribbling, you can put a cone down here, cone down there, and using the three parts of the feet, you can also look around, look to your left, look to your right, and scan, checking over your shoulders to develop your awareness. So as I dribble, I look to my left, look to my right. I can turn, check my shoulder, and then go back. Using all parts of the feet, looking around, developing my awareness. And step three to master dribbling and be creative. in the game where you have to do something new, do something different to get by and pass the opponent. So as you're practicing and dribbling using all parts of the feet, you also want to be creative and added skills, body fakes, feints in your practice. So as I go from back and forth, I'm going to change different ways I can dribble the soccer. Soccer is all about having fun. Let's reflect on the three easy steps to master dribbling. Step one is to develop your technique. There are three parts of the feet you can use. That's the inside, the outside, and the sole, which is the bottom of the foot. Step two is to develop your awareness. Make sure you're checking your shoulders, understanding your surroundings, knowing where your teammates are and where the opponents are. Step three, make sure you're being creative. Make sure you're finding different ways to get around opponents. Make sure you're finding new ways to get out of different situations. Also being able to create space for yourself and your teammates around you. Thanks for tuning in to that Chelsea Piers. I always wanted to. Make sure you have fun dribbling.